Alright guys, so I recently got the Big Jam box. Uh, this is a new portable speaker. It's been out for a little while now. And uh, in a past video, I'll put an annotation if you want to see it, uh, I compared the Jabber Soulmate with the Bose Soundlink. I'm going to do that again in this video, so you can just hear them in this video. I'm going to play them each for about 30 seconds. Just go over their prices and a little bit of features. Jabber Soulmate's 200 bucks. Big Jam box is 300 and the Bose Soundlink is 300 um, I have not tested side by side and listened in video uh, to the Bose Soundlink versus the uh, Jambox, the big one. But just from normal hearing, I would probably say before we test this in the video that the big Jambox might be a little bit louder than the Bose Soundlink. But I'd say the Bose Soundlink has a little bit crisper and better sounding uh, sound coming from it, music coming from it. Um, the Jabra is really great for 200 bucks. It's not super loud but it's durable it's got this nice uh sole that's why they call it the sole mate it kind of looks like a shoe it really holds to the surface and doesn't move around you've also got a cord in here I'm not going to take it all the way out but it's a 3.5 millimeter cord so you can uh plug in if you're not going to use bluetooth and um nice thing about the jabber soul mate is it charges with a micro usb and you can actually play music through the micro usb as well so you can hook this up to your computer and be playing music off your computer and charging at the same time and then take it on the go and it's always ready to go. So I like the Soulmate. I wish it was a little louder but for 200 bucks it's pretty good. I've had the Soundlink for a while. I really like this thing too. It's got some nice features. Uh, to set it down you open it up and then it creates its own little base here. This is good. It doesn't, duh, it doesn't slide around or anything like that but you kind of are limited at where you can put it. You're also supposed to have a wall or an item behind it. it. helps the base sound more full. So it's very nice, but it's although it's portable, it's not something that I would really want to take to the beach or anything like that just because I don't want to get sand in it. Uh, the Jabber Soulmate actually comes with a bag that you can put around it for when you go to the beach. It lets sound through, but uh, it won't let sand in. But it's not going to be quite loud enough for the beach. The Bose sound, like I'd say, is good for in the house. You want to bring it to a friend's house and use it inside a house, it's great. Um, but you don't want it getting shaken around. The big jam box here is kind of in between. It's a little bigger, but it's still very portable. And the square shape and the rubberized bottom here means you can put it just about anywhere. It's not going to move on you. I could throw this in the back seat of my car even and just play it from the back seat of my car. Whereas the Bose sound, like I couldn't really do that with it, would be tipping all over. This thing's more just going to sit there. So, I mean, they've all got their little pluses. Uh, the Bose Soundlink and the uh, Big Jam Box both charge with an AC adapter with a circular uh, cylinder type plug. And that's alright, but that is one thing I love about the Jabber Soulmate is I can just pl plug it and charge it in with my multiple phone chargers. If you use like a Android type phone, you've probably got lots of micro USBs and you got those laying around, you don't have to worry about losing a charger. So that's a nice thing, but the sound from these are better. So let's go ahead, and I'm just going to play about maybe 30 seconds of a song on each speaker at maximum volume. So we'll test uh, the maximum volume on each, how it sounds, the clarity, and uh, we'll just go ahead and get to it. So let me turn on the Soulmate. It'll take a second to uh, connect to my phone, and while it does that, find the song I'm going to play. This is royalty free music by Kevin McLeod. Soulmate is connected. I'm going to play a song that he made called One Eye Maestro. That means the volume's all the way up and it's all the way up. Jabber Soulmate. So you can tell it, you know, it fills up a room inside. It, it is pretty loud, and for what it is, for 200 bucks, it's a really great speaker. I just turned it off. All these uh, speakers automatically connect. I'm not sure if I've connected a jam box to my phone yet, though. Uh, but we're going to do the Bose next. Let's turn it on, and it should connect here. Did I get it on? Yeah, it'll connect in a second. It 
should at least. Otherwise, I'll have to go with the menu. There we go. And I'm going to turn the volume all the way up. This one, I'm pretty sure I can do it before anything's playing. It usually gets to an end point and makes a beep or something, I thought, though. Alright, so I'm going to replay the song. tell it's louder for one but I can tell just right away on top of the jabber it just has a little bit better sound the jabber sound is pretty good but it's just louder and fuller has a really nice sound so let's go ahead now and try the jam box I'm not sure if I've connected this like I said so I'm gonna, oh I have all right so again we'll play the same song let me turn the volume up I think that means we're at maximum volume. This one I don't know. behind the speakers here they're all facing towards the camera so I'm not actually getting the full sound but I would guess or say from just hearing that the jam box is a little louder it's got a little bit maybe louder lows it seems to just be a little bit more in my face uh, the Bose sound link is right up there with it uh, and I'd say the Bose probably like I said earlier I say I probably like the sound coming from it just a little bit better uh, but I think the jam box might have it on volume I guess good way to tell will be for me to watch this video back just like you guys and kind of see uh, how it sounds comparing the tunes going back and forth between them. But uh, all great speakers, uh, I really recommend all of them. Uh, you just got to decide what you want it for. Um, like I said, the Bose Soundlink is great, but I usually just use this as a home speaker and then if I really want to take it somewhere I will. Um, but just the setup of it, you know, it's, it's, it's small, it's portable, it's easy to use and such, but you need a certain place to put it down. These two you can put down anywhere and uh, they're going to work just fine. So, all great speakers. Uh, if you're going to buy just one and just have one speaker that you want to work for everything, I'd say go with the Big Jam Box. Uh, like I said, I think the Bose sounds a little better, but the Big Jam Box I think is a little more portable and easier to use uh, in some places. So, I'd say if you're going to get one speaker and you're looking for the best you can get and you just want one, I got too many obviously, get the Big Jam Box. But they're all great. Look into all of them. Price, of course, matters. So if you want to get something a little bit less expensive, the Jabber Soulmate's great for this price range. I'd say it destroys the original smaller jam box, which also costs about 200 bucks. So just a little uh, review and sound test there. If you guys have any questions or, or comments about these uh, portable speakers, let me know, and uh, we'll see you guys later.